Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands, and today I want to show you some ways to connect outside contacts and lead sources into your KW Command CRM. So there's some updates that have been done. If you haven't seen, uh, the Zapier connection to Command has been active for some time. However, there was a few key components that weren't available to us in Zapier yet, which are now available. So I do want to explore those, even if you've seen this before. But I'm going to pretend we haven't seen this before, just to kind of work through those steps. So Zapier, and it is pronounced Zapier. I asked that company specifically. Sometimes it's called Zapier, uh, but it's actually Zapier. And they said, because Zapier makes you happier. So it's a good way to remember how to pronounce that if we ever struggle there. But uh, Zapier is considered a middleware software and what that means is that it basically is the go between between two other platforms so uh, there are quite a few i mean thousands and thousands of apps that you can connect together with zapier and in this case i'm going to connect let's say my outside database that we use i use keep in our uh, business and i want to take keep contacts and i want to put them into command for example at a certain stage so that's what I'm gonna demonstrate here on how we make that happen. Now there's a couple ways to go about this. You can actually go into My Apps and kind of connect your different apps first before you try to set up your Zap. So in this case, I have a Parser app set up. I've got my Facebook lead ads, my IDX broker leads. We have Keep, our CRM platform. I have Command already set up and we have Listings to Leads set up. So these are all different apps where I can basically used to integrate with each other. So I can take IDX leads and put them into command. I can take IDX leads and put them into keep. I can take keep leads and put them into command. So there are a lot of different things that I can do. I can take my Facebook lead ads and put them into keep. So if I have the apps connected, then I'm able to use them basically to connect to each other. So that's one option. I can go to add connection. I can choose which app. Let's say I want to do my Google Sheets. And again, you'll see there's so many in here. So take a look and see if what you want to do is in here. But I can connect all of these. And if I were to go, let's say Slack, just as an example, it's going to ask me to log in to my Slack account and it'll connect those two, right? So these are options that I have. Um, I am logged into Slack, so that's why it's pulling up for me. I can go ahead and click allow and then we'd be all set. But in this case, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to show you that's how it works and it would become a new application here. Now, the other option is I can go straight into my zaps and click on create a zap. And during this stage, if I don't already have an app available, it will allow me to connect it. So again, that's an option here too. If I say, for example, if I wanted to do Slack, if I click that and then I choose which event it is, we'll go into that in a second and hit continue, then it's gonna ask me to sign into Slack. So I can actually do it all on the fly in one spot too. So if I'm really only connecting two different apps for the first time, I can just go right into here into create a zap and do it that way if that's more simple. But if I know I'm going, like I just set up Zapier and I've got six different things I wanna connect, then sometimes you might wanna just connect all your apps or get those all established in here so that we can go in and do what we wanna do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this around because that was just a little sample. So let's go ahead and go into, um, as if I'm going to connect my keep contacts to go directly into command. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click create zap. It's gonna pull up my triggers here. So I'm gonna say I want keep, and in this case we use keep max classic. So I want contacts and keep max classic. And let's say I want it to do when a tag is added. So you'll see all these different options. So when a new affiliate's added, when a credit card is charged, or a new company, these are all different zaps that I can set up separately and individually. Um, with Zapier to then do something else in another system. So in this case, I want to set it up to where, uh, let's say I'll, I'll give you an example of how we use it. We use Keep for our for our funnel. Anything to do with our, uh, once we get the lead into the funnel, the top of the funnel, we want to nurture them in Keep. We, we find that it's a little more persistent and we have some different options, some better if this happens, then that happens 
types of opportunities. So we like to manage and route our leads into keep in order to do that nurturing. Okay, once they actually become an opportunity in our real estate business, so they've set up an appointment or uh, we're basically ready to open a contract with them, any of that information, well now we want that in commands because we manage of course our opportunities and our contracts in command. So what we do is we have a, we want when a certain tag is applied, so I'm working them in keep, but now I wanna send to command. So we actually have a tag called send to command. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here to tag, when a tag is added to a contact, continue. Which keep account do I want, in case I had multiple keep accounts, I'm gonna say this one here and continue. And then I'm gonna set up the trigger. So the trigger is, is which tag am I applying in order to trigger to go to command. So I mentioned I have a send to command tag. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one here just as a, as a sample to work through here so I don't have to go find the send to command one. So I'm gonna, let's say in this case, it's a new lead, right? And I wanna send that to command. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. All right, now it lets me test my trigger. Okay, so once I test the trigger, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull one that has that particular tag. Now I just added that tag, so it doesn't actually have an example. Um, let's see, maybe I can pull another one so you can see the example here. Let's do continue. Let's see if that one had one attached to it. Test trigger. Because when we do have one where the trigger works, there we go, it pulls up a sample of all the data that's gonna pull through. So if I have a contact in Keep that matches what I'm setting up, then it will pull that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Okay, now what action do I want it to take? So if a tag is added in Keep, a specific one, then I want it to do this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my Keller Williams command that I have, and I want it to create a contact. So you'll see that's the only thing we can do in command, by the way, that you can only create a contact. Command KW has not released any additional zap options. We literally can only create a contact into command. That also means um, we're not able to take information out of commands. They don't have that option either. We are literally only able to create a contact through Zapier, which absolutely helps us get the job done, so that's all we really need right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit con uh, continue. Then I'm gonna choose mine. Again, I've already connected mine. If I didn't have one connected, it would pop open a new, you know, new option here for me to connect my account. But I'm gonna go ahead and c connect that one. Hit continue. Now I'm setting up the action. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna map the actual field. So I just wanna make sure that first name goes into first name, and my first name in keep transfers to my first name in command. My last name in keep transfers to my last name in command. So I'm gonna go ahead and just walk through these steps. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm choosing the team. Okay, so am I, is this a contact that's gonna go to my personal command? Is it my contact? Or is it gonna go to, let's say, the Lori Ballin team, which I am on as the Lori Ballin team? So if it's going to be a team contact that goes into the lead pool and those types of things, that I would choose the team. If it's gonna be a personal contact, then I would choose the personal account. So you're getting to choose which one it's gonna go into when it goes into command. Then I go to first name. So instead of, you know, I'm not gonna type in a first name here, of course, right? Because it's gonna be different for every lead. I'm gonna choose what it's matching. So you'll see here is the little icon that indicates that it's coming from Keep. That's the Keep logo. So I want the first name in Keep. And again, it gives me an example of the actual name. So I want the first name in Keep and the last name in Keep. This is what I'm inserting into Command. Okay, so then I'm gonna go to email address and I'm gonna make sure that's set up in there. Phone number, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the, oops, the show all options here. And I do have a phone number, so I'll grab that. Then is there an address? Well, if you collect address information and that's in there, then I would be able to. But if you'll notice in here, we actually don't have any address fields that are filled out. See how these are all empty here? So I'm not gonna use that fields. We're not collecting their specific address information and keep. 
um, notes, so I'm able to actually put in notes. So this is a cool addition that we didn't used to have where I can actually put, like maybe there's a, maybe the actual ad that this came in. So see this, like in this case, it's called contact group. So four bedroom, 500K ad. Maybe I just wanna put that in as the note. So in command, there would be a note added. Now I could also, instead of using an actual field that's from thing, I could put this contact was added through the Zapier connection. So if I wanna just kinda of keep track that way, I can ha have this note automatically added to the contact when I put them into command. Okay, so now the next cool option that we didn't used to have is tags. I can actually automatically tag them in command a certain tag. So in this case, again, maybe I just want it to be um, something that matches here. Maybe I have the same tags in command as I do in my uh, keep platform, or I can actually just insert data itself. So maybe we just put Zapier lead or Zapier contact, something like that. So, oops, I missed that wrong field, Zapier contact. So that is an option that I can do in there as well. So you'll see this contact is added through Zapier, and then we have the tags Zapier contact could be added and then a description. So that's another thing that we can put in there is a description. So again, I can take the fields that are out of here through my keep interface and I can grab all those or I can type in something manually that's always going to be the same no matter what when it gets inserted in. Um, I can also put in multiple fields. So I could actually say, for instance, first name, space, last name, email, like maybe for some reason in the description, I wanted to actually have all their contact information. You could do that as well. This will all just feed through exactly how it exists in your other platform. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And it shows here that it's gonna go to, this just shows you a, a test here. So now it's gonna actually do a test if I want to. I can skip the test, but it is good to do a test. And so let's go ahead and see if this will let us through in case there's any weird little glitches. Nope, so it says a contact was sent to Keller Williams Command just now. So if this all worked out the way it's supposed to, then I should be able to see Janet in my personal command. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so here's my command. And I'm gonna go and do contacts. And I'm gonna go ahead and look for Janet. And there she is. So it tagged it as Zapier contact, and it's got her phone number, her email. Let's go ahead and click on her. Has a note, this contact was added through Zapier connection. So everything that we put in here has all just passed through automatically. This was the test that went through. So of course, if I tag someone, that once I turn this Zap on, then any time that condition is met, which is a tag is applied, or a certain tag is applied, it will send all this information over here. So the reason why this works out so well is because uh, maybe my lead sources, I, I again, I prefer my leads to go into Keep because it does some advanced things that I can't do in Command yet, but yet I don't want to repaste all this information into Command when it's time to get them to the actual closing table. So this really gives us that flexibility to connect these. And just a little uh, kind of side note is because I'm able to automatically launch smart plans now that's covered in another video but i'm able to automatically launch smart plans based on a tag being applied so because i can do that that means i can have a content uh, you know a new lead come from a particular source go into zapier apply a tag which then once it comes into command automatically as it did here it would then kick off a smart plan automatically so that was a big feature we were missing for quite a while when command came out is that ability to kind of automatically launch that marketing, um, you know, those touches after the fact. So again, in this case, we don't use it. We use our top of funnel marketing in keep. So we don't necessarily need that instance here, but that's just a good example of some of the things that we're able to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and just go back to the zap and I'm just going to turn it on. So once I turn on that zap, then at any point moving forward, 
when a contact is tagged, a certain tag in Keep, it will then automatically put that contact and any of the details and notes that we've added in there into Command. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, reach out to us. You can reach us at team at